Hello. Uh, uh, today I will pick uh, an arrow king of cylinder from Gifmos. Good for lock. Work nicely. It is the beating on the key. So let's do it. Uh, since it's a key nerve cylinder and I have nothing to no housing to put it in to avoid crushing it in the vise, I will just do it in my hand, just a, a five pin lock with a standard pin in port and answer, so it should not uh, take too long. So if you tension and use a, for the first time I will use a knife diamond half diamond. Just rake a little bit and then pick it. Picked. So let's move that out of the way. So I will lock it back up. And I will get my pinning tray here. And uh, I will uh, try to figure out a way to take it apart. So, here the tail piece. I will remove the key to do this. Tail piece. Uh, there's really no big deal on these. Just move the little. Uh, Retaining ring here in front of here in front of the hole and usually it will just come out quite easy set that aside now I should be um, able to remove the C-clip There we go, C-clip is removed. Now I will uh, use a, as a follower a highlighter, a paper mate one, do the job. And what I like about these is I can fit them right there, so no big deal for uh, this little crack, this little um, thing in their ear. So, I just <coughs> force it in there and uh, no worries. Turn the keys, follow it out. Oh, this is a six pin lock, but it's just pinned up for five. So uh, I will dump these. So, all standard key pins. Okay. I will um, leave the plug uh, where it is on this end and I will just got it uh, opposite direction. So I will do it uh, the easy way. Oh, the plug came out. So here it is, got it for you, uh, all center pins and uh, 
the same spring than in the, the, the rust wind, but uh, these are copper spring and the rust wind they were a steel spring. So uh, thank you uh, for watching. Thank you, Jeff Moss, and uh, please uh, stay legal.